Hi, my name is Linda. Um, I've been blocking for a, almost a year now. I started blocking January of this year. And um, how I started blocking was I um, went and visit my daughter and she had been talking to me about how she was doing block therapy with uh, my grandson, little Zenon, because Zenon had scoliosis. And uh, she had sent me pictures showing me how Zenon's improvement was. And on the pictures, I could really see that there was significant improvement happening in little Zenon. And um, when I got there, I um, saw my just an incredible light in my daughter's eyes again. My daughter was always the one that when she would smile, her eyes would smile first. And I saw that glow again in her eyes and just her skin was just so improved. And I just thought, wow, there's got to be something positive happening with this block therapy. And um, by the time the weekend was done, we spent the weekend there. I got into the car with my husband and I said, this block therapy is something that I really feel I need to try. You know, like as much as there was improvement in Zenon, I think it was the improvement in my daughter that really gave me the, 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 the want, the desire to try this. And I thought, what do I got to lose, right? Uh, I started the blocking and I would say the, the starter program, and I would say about hmm, three, four days into blocking, I started feeling like I was getting a lot of this real thick mucusy clear stuff coming out and I, I thought at first I thought well, just coincidence but every time I blocked I would get this really thick mucusy stuff coming out and so then I figured it's gotta be all this stuff that's inside me that is that needs to come out and then not too long after that I would say probably a couple weeks in I started being able to, to smell I have sinus polyps I've had four surgeries and I was due for the fifth surgery of my sinus polyps to remove the polyps and it creates a lot of inflammation. So all this, when it gets really aggravated, I don't smell, I don't taste. So I started smelling and tasting and I'm thinking, okay, this is a little weird that like a weekend that I'm already feeling this. So continued blocking, blocking twice a day, every day. Like I just thought the more I block, the faster all this is going to happen and it's going to work and I'm going to get better. And um, about a month after that, I had to go and see my sinus specialist because we were going to uh, book my next surgery, which I think I said already my fifth surgery. So when I went, he did the scope to see what he would need to do. And um, when he put the scope in, he says, what have you been doing? And I thought, oh, well, the only thing different that I've been doing is I've been doing block therapy. So I started explaining to him what block therapy was about. He says, I need to research that first of all, because he was very interested in it. And then he said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. He says, I'm postponing the surgery. I want to see you back in a month. So go back a month later, I was still blocking daily. And um, I went to see him and he did the scope again. And at this point, no more polyps, no more inflammation. He said, cancel surgery, continue doing what you're doing. This is obviously working for you. And so of course I was very excited and went home and continued blocking. And um, after that, I was starting to get some improvement even in my asthma. I have eosinophil asthma and I could even feel my asthma getting better and every time I don't know if coincidence, but every time I would put the blocks on my ribs, I would get still that gunky stuff, that clear, thick, sticky mucus stuff coming out. And I just knew I was sold. I knew at this point that this block therapy was going to be like part of my life, like a daily part of my life thing. And um, so I've had chronic pain uh, for many, many years. I've had a lot of, I've had to have hysterectomies and then this turned into a, a bladder condition called interstitial cystitis, pelvic floor myalgia, a lot of big words to say, just a lot of chronic pain in the pelvic back area. 
So I uh, started doing more of the women's program to try and help that part of the pain. And um, I believe probably, I'm not too sure how far into the women's program there is. There's, there's a little skit at the end where Deanna does meditation. And um, I always struggle to meditate because I, my mind is always going everywhere and I can't focus and, and just stay relaxed and calm because I have so much anxiety. So I started doing the meditation and um, it was just a profound experience. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I was meditating and I had my hands on my stomach and I have had a few incisions in my lower stomach because of all these stomach issues and bladder issues. And uh, my stomach is always hard and where the incision is, it's it's really ropey and hard. And it's a part of my body that I don't touch unless I absolutely have to because of appearance and I guess all the feelings attached to it and memories. So uh, Deanna was saying just to let your hands relax and, and to let my hands just sink into my body. And as I was doing that, I started having it was almost like a, a, like a movie, a movie that was happening in my head that I was reliving. I was reliving my childhood. I've had um, um, abuse in my childhood. And as much as I was reliving and re-seeing this past, I wasn't afraid. And I felt so calm and it felt so, felt so, such a relief. It almost felt like I had I'm like I had a strong faith, and I almost felt like I had, God's hands were on my hands, like creating a healing. It was just so beautiful. It was so profound, but I wasn't scared. That's the part that I couldn't understand. I thought I should have been, you know, scared and want to stop it. And, but no, I just continued in this peaceful, just just a beautiful space, a space that I had not been able to reach even with therapy. And I had never been able to get to that space in my body, in my mind, in my heart, my soul. And it just felt so good. So I continued even more excited now with block therapy, thinking that this was going to do profound changes in my life and in my body and I um, I was involved in a car accident about uh, seven years ago and uh, this car accident caused some brain injuries were so memory issues and uh, amongst a lot of other things it had caused uh, a meniscus tear in my left knee and um, it had kind of dislocated my right knee so I was having to go for the past, oh my God, five years before starting to block. I was going every three, four months for injections in my knees, <clears throat> trying to not have to have complete knee replacement because that was the next step. The doctor, the specialist had said that I would be needing knee replacement in the right knee and repair the meniscus tear in my left knee. So of course, uh, I'm in my mid fifties, not wanting to go through a uh, knee replacement at this point. I just kept focusing on block therapy and trying to work with, you know, starting at my feet because my feet were so painful. The arch of my feet, as soon as I would try to walk, the pain in my feet was so intense. I couldn't, I love walking and I couldn't walk. So um, I had my last knee injection was in February in both the knees started blocking in January and I've never went back for another knee injection. Um, my knees are so much better. I can walk. The pain in my feet, I gotta say, is almost gone. I only get the pain in my feet when I've been walking a lot or standing a lot, but I truly believe that continuing to block in my journey is going to bring me complete healing. I, I truly believe that. Anybody who knows Deanna knows that she is so committed. She is just so helpful. And I don't know how she does it, but she 
you, she is there for you. She's there for everybody. And you hear it all the time through the block therapy uh, community, how she is so present. She is so willing and wanting to help us all. And I just, that, I think that's part of the healing also is that you know that you're never alone, that you have a, not only Deanna and Quinn and, and all the people that, that help her, you, you know that somebody will be there if you need it. And the block therapy community, oh my. You know, like I've been doing the 90 day challenge. This is my second uh, go through. And um, we've been doing Zoom meetings once a week. And they are so encouraging. And I think not only is it that we're learning what to do and how to do it, but we're also there for one another. You know, like just one of the times where we were Zooming, there was the one woman that was struggling and I could just feel her pain, you know, and I just, I am not one for talking. <laughs> this is huge for me right now. And I, um, I just unmuted my button and I kind of shared with her, you know, how the positive thoughts were such a big component of the block therapy, you know, to, to complete the healing. But yeah, it is an amazing community and you can't ask better than Deanna and her help and her support. Thank you, Deanna.